What's going on guys? You know you're here back again with another video. Today we are reading some more Fire Force and we're on chapter 230. The Cataclysm March is on. We had a, an amazing fight last chapter uh, and that was the end of the fight. But with that, we got the moon, the uh, Soul Eater moon. Um, that's why I'm just going to call it, I'm calling it the Soul Eater moon. So I wonder what the reaction is going to be. It's probably going to be a little bit crazy if everyone noticed it. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Whoa, it's. Yup. Why does the moon look so ridiculous? The ocean looks normal again. And that's the moon? It's really the moon? The fierce battle between Benny Mara and his old boss brought a uh, brought Adola closer. Its influence it, it oh gosh, its influence transformed the ocean and changed the art style of the moon. You did that, Benny? I don't know. Woo, the moon is smiling. Yeah, woo. And our idiots are excited about it. We have some uh, moon admiring uh, sake <laughs> at the boss's send off tonight. Woo, <laughs> they're not taking it serious. How can you Asukasa weirdos be so nonchalant about this? The moon has changed it to some kind of freaky face. I've never seen a moon like that. No, wait, I have. People picture it all the time. It's exactly the image we all have of the moon. Now we know exactly what the Great Cataclysm does to the world. Huh? Shh, right. Now I'm uh, Dr. Miyamura, uh, Marimuro, uh, Marimo. Please refrain from mentioning the name uh, of a wanted criminal, Victor Lick. Dr. Marimo. Is he? <laughs> Dr. Mario <laughs> Marimo. <laughs> I couldn't just sit around any longer. What do we know exactly now? Hey, Cronro, you said that the old boss wasn't like a uh, wasn't that wasn't like that doppelganger, right? Right. But he looked exactly like him. It's looked and uh, acted just like him. It was the same with my own doppelganger. Destroyed the Tokyo Empire. Sure, the old boss was a brawler, but he wasn't the kind of guy to go around breaking everything in sight. The Great Cataclysm was an, um, a miscellation, a miscellation of our world with the people's image of it. But the white clad goal is to return this world to flame. That's what Reko was saying too. Okay, so let's say the Great Cataclysm is supposed to align the Adola from our imagination with reality. But if that's true, that's not what the white clad goons are going for. Adola is an agglomeration of human imagination. If the white clad cult wants us to get us to the final destination of those imagination of those imagining that would take us to death. Yep. Yeah, that does jive with what they told us they want. There's one pillar left when the world fully merges with the Dola, Dr. Marimo, our world will be destroyed. I don't think I like the sound of that. Want me to go ahead and break the world before it falls apart anyway? Please don't joke like that. It was bad enough when you fought the boss. What if your doppelganger shows up? <laughs> Bro, if Benny Mar doppelganger shows up, it's wrecked. The world is wrecked. Recover the Honda shot. Hurry, pull out. Uh, he's in the water. It was just pro it was just processing that it had uh, split in two, and the next thing I knew, there were sixty four of them. This is why I hate strong opponents. Uh, if we left uh, if we left the company too, they would have been seriously damaged. Uh, there would have been serious damage to the city. Aren't you glad we came to help? Yeah. Once there were sixty four of it, they were all weak. So that was fun. Ha ha ha! Good, good. No, it is not good. It looks like Company 7 took care of the seventh pillar for us. They should have done all of them. They're, they're toughest guy on the force likes fighting strong opponents, doesn't he? He might come for you one day. I hope not. Now, there's just one left. We'll be adding more demons to the fire. That's not clever. Pay your uh, pay cut for you. You're the demon. <laughs> Alright, we're back in the city. There are now seven pillars of the Great Cataclysm appears to be proceeding smoothly. Indeed, with or without me, the world will meet its timely end. However, 
Oh, look at Show and Arrow. Oh, I like them in there. Uh, I really like them in these clothes. Look at that boy. He's so cute. I can't believe we live on the same planet. He must be an angel. An angel has come on Earth. That's the only explanation. Something is amiss. I thought we had blended in perfectly with the surface people. I shall snipe them to prevent suspicion. Not yet. My family, my brother, my mother. I want to learn uh, about my family before the world is destroyed. This is in Juku City office. So this is where we find my family regis uh, re registered. Publicly, my mother died. Uh, my publicly, my mother and I died 12 years ago. But if we examine the official copy of our family register, I should learn more about my family. But Commander, neither or you or I exist in this world. Might that prevent us from gaining access to the register? I have no intention of following official procedure. Have you forgotten my power? I shall stop time and steal the records. You stay here, Arrow. I'll return shortly. Damn! And he just instantly, poof! Commander, is that? Yes, the official copy of the Kusakabe family registered. As I suspected, it claims that I am dead. Mother, Ma uh, Mari Kasukabe. Mari. Mari Kasukabe. So that is it. My mother's name. So that is my mother's name. Hmm. What's the matter? No matter what I look in the record, I cannot find my father's name. Hmm. Interesting. What if his father is like the Adola? That would be crazy. Anyway, we're about to hop into the next chapter. If you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification. That way you'll know when it's out. If you like the video, give it a like. If not, give it a dislike. Doesn't really matter to me. If you want to see more of me, catch me on Twitter. And if you know, you know. And until then, you know where to find you know.